Welcome to a special edition of CVTV. With me today we have Mrs. Toms, whose job is a graphic organizer. Designer. Oh, designer, sorry. Thank you so much for coming in for career day. How has your day been so far? It's been great! I've had so much fun at Crestview. The classes have been so nice. And you guys here in the studio are very professional, I have to say. Thank you. What grade level did you present? Today? I talked to first grade friends today, and they were really great. They were so smart, and they listened so well. What made you want to become a graphic designer? Well, when I was in elementary school, like you guys, I really liked art class, and I liked drawing and painting. And then when I went to college, I was a communication major. And my first job out of college, um, I was mostly doing writing work, but I figured out that my writing was really boring if it didn't have any pictures or graphics. So I actually had to learn how to do some of that on my own. Oh, cool. Did you have any mentors in your life that guided you through your journey to becoming a graphic designer? I did. There were several people along the way that I worked with and um, people that I studied under and teachers and um, people that I attended like workshops with and that sort of thing. So lots of people that I kind of followed what they were doing and learned from them to get started. What steps did you have to go through to become a graphic designer? Um, so like I said, it started in elementary school. So um, learning to do some art when I was a kid and then in college I took some classes. And then after I graduated from college, I took classes at an art center and did some online classes on the internet and that sort of thing. And it's something that I kind of continue to work on today. Out of the three strands of communication, oral, <laughs> visual, and media, which strand of communication do you believe is the most important to the success of your job? Let's see, that's a tricky one because um, oral communication is really important because I have to talk to my clients and the people that I'm working for so that I make sure I'm doing what it is that they want. So I have to be really clear in the way I communicate. And then visual, graphic design is very visually oriented because you're creating images. And then those images end up in some sort of media, either on TV or on the internet or printed out. So the media is really important too. So it kind of uses all three. What advice would you give the students of Crestview to help them find success as they go through the rest of schooling in Lawrence Township? Let's see, the advice I would give is volunteer for anything you can do that might help you learn your craft. Like if you're interested in graphic design, um, volunteer for different events. Like if the school's having a carnival or something, you know, you could help design the logo for the carnival. Or if, you know, there's something going on, if you're in Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts, you could help, you know, make flyers or that sort of thing. Um, or if you're a church or some other group that you're involved with, if you can volunteer and practice um, what it is you're trying to learn, you'll be better at it in the end. Yeah. Is there anything you would like to add about your job that you feel the students should know? Um, one thing I think it is important to think about is you might think, okay, I want to be a graphic designer, so I only need to be really good at art. Um, but I think what you actually need to think about is all of the people you might be doing graphic design for. So you might be working for an accountant or an engineer that's really into math. So if you're good at math, it would help you be better at your graphic design. Or um, whatever field, maybe you're going to be working for a company that does science work. So even though you're an artist or a graphic designer, it would help you to know about science too. So remember to be good at as many subjects, do as the best that you can in all of your subjects, and that'll make you better at whatever it is you decide to do. Again, we thank you for taking time out of your busy day to come and answer a few questions students here at Crestview have. We hope you have a great day. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Thanks a lot, friends. For CVTV Career Day, I'm Ashley. Remember to stay responsible, respectful, and safe, and remember to find your voice in today's world.